How much has the performance Tesla Model S improved since it was first released in 2012? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. This video is sponsored by Omaze. Omaze has teamed up with GivePower to help fund solar water farms in regions of Colombia. Enter for your chance to win your very own performance Tesla Model S at omaze.com forward slash cleanerwatt and help Omaze support their efforts. The new 2020 Tesla Model S Performance is Tesla's quickest vehicle by far going 0 to 60 in just 2.3 seconds. In just a minute, we're going to dive into the evolution of Tesla's Performance Model S and how it's changed from 2012 until now, 2020. We'll highlight a lot of different changes and performance increases that has received over the years. But before we do that, I just want to put into perspective just how amazing this vehicle is when it comes to how quick it is and how fast it is. So what production vehicle can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour quicker than the Tesla Model S? Not a Porsche 911 Turbo S, which goes 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Not a Ferrari F8 Spider, which goes 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Not even a McLaren Senna, which goes 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Well, okay, this $2.5 million supercar, the Pini Farina Batista, will go 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. But you'll be hard pressed to find a production vehicle that is quicker than the Tesla Model S performance. And you have to remember that this is a four door sedan that can seat five people. When you do a performance comparison for other vehicles in the same class, you'll see that the price for the Model S is lowest and the zero to 60 mile per hour time is also the lowest by far. The only vehicle that comes close to the 0 to 60 performance of the Tesla Model S is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. But that vehicle comes at twice the price of the Model S performance. Near the end of the video, we'll actually dive into more details about the 2020 Tesla Model S performance and dive into some of the other specs and aspects of the vehicle. But right now, I want to take the time to talk about the evolution of the Tesla Model S performance sedan, starting with 2012 when the vehicle was born. Tesla's first mass-produced electric vehicle was the 2012 Tesla Model S. The Model S was not Tesla's first vehicle. That was their original Roadster built off of the Lotus Elise platform, but that vehicle was only made in limited numbers. The Tesla Model S P85, their performance version of the Model S, was revolutionary at the time of its release. And here in 2020, it's still hard for other auto manufacturers to match the range, performance, and price combination of that vehicle. The 2012 Model S P85 had a base MSRP of $95,000, but it only had a single rear motor option. It offered a very respectable 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 4.4 seconds and it could do the quarter mile in right around 12.6 seconds and had a top speed of 130 miles per hour. In 2014, Tesla announced the dual motor variant of their performance Model S sedan and they created the P85D. This vehicle was $10,000 more expensive for the base MSRP than the previous P85 version but with this new dual motor upgrade, Tesla was able to reduce the 0 to 60 mile per hour time 1.2 seconds less than the P85, and it dropped down to 3.2 seconds to go 0 to 60. The quarter mile time was also reduced by about a second to 11.6 seconds, and the vehicle was able to reach a top speed now of 155 miles an hour, a 25 mile per hour increase. Roughly 2.2 billion people around the world do not have access to safely managed drinking water. Give Power is on a mission to help. The nonprofit uses its deep solar expertise to power and provide clean water, food security, and light in regions in need around the world. Omaze has teamed up with Give Power to help fund Give Power solar water farms in regions of Colombia. 
These water farms purify and desalinate water sourced sustainably from the ocean, providing a long-term, renewably powered drinking water solution for many living in brutally dry conditions. Through Omaze, you can help Omaze's efforts to support Give Power. Through Omaze, you can enter to win a 2020 Tesla Model S Performance Sedan and $20,000 cash. On top of that, the car's taxes and shipping will be paid for. The 2020 Tesla Model S Performance Sedan is one of the safest and fastest accelerating cars on the road. It offers autopilot and has all the hardware necessary for full self-driving capability. It has HEPA air filtration, including bioweapon defense mode. It has an EPA rated range of 348 miles, a top speed of 163 miles per hour. And as we mentioned, it can go zero to 60 in just 2.3 seconds. Find out more and enter for your chance to win your very own performance Tesla Model S at omaze.com forward slash cleanerwatt. I'll also place a link in the description below. So far, we've discussed the Tesla Model S Performance Sedan being released in 2012, and then in 2014, the dual motor variant being offered, but another big change came in 2015 when Tesla released info on the larger battery size, the 90 kilowatt hour battery instead of the 85 kilowatt hour battery. They explained that the 6% energy increase was due to improved cell chemistry. Another big performance upgrade happened this year and Tesla released what they called Ludicrous Mode and we'll dive into that in just a second. The new P90D with Ludicrous Mode had a base MSRP of right around $115,000. It could go 0 to 60 in just 2.6 seconds which was 6 tenths of a second faster than the P85D. It could now do the quarter mile time in around 10.9 seconds. And with a larger battery, it had an increased EPA range of 270 miles on a full charge. So as I mentioned, not only did Tesla increase the size of the battery, but they also added ludicrous mode to the vehicle for the first time with this upgrade. This ludicrous mode, which is still found on the 2020 Tesla Model S, is a mode that you can go into that allows the Tesla battery to be warm to the perfect temperature to allow the maximum output of power. This increases the acceleration of the Tesla Model S by about 20%. To make this ludicrous mode possible, Tesla had to replace the main battery pack contacts and made them from a space super grade alloy called Inconel. And this allowed Tesla to increase the current flow rate from 1300 to 1500 amps. They also had to add a new fuse to this performance 90 kilowatt hour battery to keep it from tripping that fuse because of this increased power. In the summer of 2016, Tesla once again upgraded the Model S and released the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. This made the P100D with ludicrous mode available and it had a base MSRP of $135,000. This larger battery led to a greater EPA range now of 315 miles and it decreased 0 to 60 mile per hour time slightly to 2.5 seconds and the quarter mile time was also slightly faster at around 10.8 seconds. In 2019, one of the biggest updates that the Tesla Model S has ever received since it was released in 2012 was codenamed the Raven Update. This 2019 Tesla Model S Raven update added new advanced air suspension. It also replaced the front induction motor with the more efficient Tesla Model 3 motor and this allowed for a more efficient vehicle with added range and also it added a little bit of performance. The base price of the 2019 Raven Model S Performance was right around $100,000 and it costs around $20,000 to add ludicrous mode to that vehicle. However, at one point, Tesla did offer this upgrade free to existing Tesla Model S and Model X owners that chose to upgrade to this new Raven vehicle. But for non-existing owners, they had to pay $20,000 for this upgrade. This Raven update brought the EPA rated range of the Tesla Model S performance to 348 miles. It allowed the zero to 60 mile per hour time to drop to 2.4 seconds and also the quarter mile to drop to 10.6 seconds. 
And now we come to Tesla's most recent update to the Tesla Model S, and this update was simply done through an over-the-air software update. Earlier this year, Tesla sent out an update that added what they called a Cheetah launch stance to the vehicle. With this mode enabled, the Tesla Model S with air suspension will slightly lower the front of the vehicle and allow it to have greater traction when taking off from a standstill. This allowed the 0 to 60 mile per hour time once again to decrease down to 2.3 seconds and it also allowed for a quicker quarter mile time of 10.45 seconds. Tesla also recently dropped the price of the Model S Performance sedan down to a base price of $95,000. And also, Ludicrous Mode is included in that price and is standard with every performance Model S that they sell. Also, the 2020 Tesla Model S can now go up to 163 miles per hour with its top speed. The 2020 Tesla Model S is one beast of a performance sedan and it is unmatched by any vehicle in its class. So here's a chart showing the performance evolution comparison that we talked about all in one page. As we talked about in 2012, the P85 was able to go 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. The P85D reduced that to 3.2 seconds. The P90D with Ludacris dropped that down to 2.6 seconds. The P100D with Ludacris dropped that down to 2.5 seconds. The Raven Performance model dropped that down to 2.4 seconds. And then the latest model with the Cheetah Launch Mode goes 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds. And you can see that the base price of this vehicle is all the way back to what it cost in 2012. The Tesla Model S Performance Sedan also comes with a lot of premium features built in the vehicle and it has a class leading user interface, built in hardware for full self driving and of course autopilot now comes standard. It's not only the fastest, quickest, and most equipped Model S yet, but it is also amazingly inexpensive when you compare it to similar performance cars. The Tesla Model S Performance Sedan is definitely the best vehicle you can purchase right around that $100,000 price range by far. Once again, I'd like to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to be entered in for your chance to win your very own Tesla Model S Performance Sedan, Simply go over to omaze.com forward slash cleanerwatt to find out more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button and also consider sharing this out on social media so other people can find this video as well. I also wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank these Patreon supporters which support me every month and help me bring this content to you. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find a link in the description below. Thank you so much.